you have your Android application built, ready, ready to deploy to a device or to a simulator. But what happens if you don't have any simulators yet? I have a couple of virtual devices in here. I also have a device that has an incompatible API level because remember that my application is for newer devices. But I could always create new Android devices. I'm going to create with Manage Android Devices, I can create a new emulator. This is going to open the Android Virtual Device Manager, or AVD. And here I can see all of the devices that I, that I already have, that I could just start and deploy my application to. But let's create a new one. And in this case, I'm just going to call this Samarin underscore course. In here you can select which device you want to use for you know your, your application to run on. Let's say that I want a Nexus 5 and I want its API level to be all the way to Android 6.0 which is Marshmallow and in the CPU I will just select ARM on the skin, I can select no skin. And I believe that should be it. Oh, I should change the RAM because I don't want to be using that much. Uh, maybe 512 would, would suffice. You could set an internal storage different to 200 megabytes. But I will just leave it that way. You could also set an SD card, but I will just leave it that way. I will click OK. And you can see how my new device is now listed in my Android virtual devices list. Great, I'm going to close this. I'm going to head back to Samarin. And you can see how now in the virtual devices list, I can see my Samarin underscore course. So I'm going to select it, I'm going to click run, and I'm going to wait about three hours until the Android simulator is up. I'm, I'm just kidding, it, it could take a little bit longer. <laughs> and there you go, a little bit after three hours. <laughs> I'm kidding, it, it was just about 20 minutes. The height, uh, I'm sorry, the application is ready. And I can start writing the height and the width, uh, the weight. And of course, that's not my height. Let me just do this the way it's supposed to. Height and weight and calculate BMI, and there you have my BMI, and my application is ready, my Android application is ready. Now, just for you to notice that the keyboard is actually a decimal keyboard, I have just make it visible, and there you go, in both edit texts, the keyboard is a decimal keyboard. Great! We have now built the same application for Android and for iOS using C Sharp, using Summary. Hi, thanks all for watching this video. If you enjoy it or you want to learn more about Summary and C Sharp, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want access to the full Summary course that I have in Udemy, I'll make sure to drop a very good discount in the description down below. Very good discount, you should check it out. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video or inside the curse. Bye-bye. That was good.